right. Somebody remind me, what, does, what is a pre-pass? What is a pre-pass? Addison. A pre-pass is a pre-ideal pass, which is actually going to be the egg. Right. And so put into the green bud. Exactly. It's kind of like that. Just uh, you're making sure that we know. Exactly. I'm just going to make sure. I'm going to see what you know and see what you don't know. And it's as you open back up your math book to page seven. So this is a short pretest on clocks and calendars. So this, again, this pretest, don't let the word test scare you. I'm not going to grade you on it. I'm just trying to see what you know and what we need to go over. So we can go ahead and start the pretest on calendars and clocks. So there aren't too many questions. There's just numbers one through four on page seven and then if you flip it over, there's five through ten, but it won't take you very long at all. It'll bring us right into lunch, okay? You may go ahead and start if you're ready. Okay, we are open to the pretest that we took. Let's just go over our answers. Looking at that calendar, it says, number one, a group from Andrew's church sings at Oakdale Manor on the fourth Sunday of the month. What day is that in September? So it has, it looks like this up at the top. There's an S, M, T, W, T, F, S. What do you think these stand for? What do you think those stand for at the top? Connor. Um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Right. Friday. So what is this one? <laughs> what Sunday. S is this? Sunday. This is Sunday. Sunday. And I believe the question asked, the, it's the fourth Sunday of the month. So if we look down, there's a 5, there's a 12, there's a 19, and there's a 26. So the 5th, the 12th, the 19th, and the 26th, those are all Sundays in the month. So they are singing on the 4th Sunday, which is the 26th. So your answer is the 26th. The 26th. So if you did not get it, just go ahead and correct it. Let's look at number two, another calendar question. At Andrew's school, pet day is always the third Friday in September. So I'm looking up here at the days of the week. The F is, F is for Friday, right? And it is the third Friday in the month. So we have a three, a 10, a 17, and a 24. So it's the third Friday of the month. What day is it? Julie? 17th. The 17th, it's the third Friday of the month, good. And then the last calendar question, what day of the week is September 30th? What day of the week? So we can find the 30th on our calendar and then we can just go all the way up to the top and it is a Tuesday. Not a Tuesday, Thursday. Riley. Oh, it's stretching. Jillian. Tuesday. Not a Tuesday because it's after Wednesday. What day comes after Wednesday, Anastasia? Thursday. Thursday. It is a Thursday. All right, so now we need to look at the times. Number four, we had four clocks. Raise your hand if you had kind of a tough time with this one. A little bit of a tough time. Yeah, we kind of, we need to review that, don't we? Oh. I'm gonna get my big clock, so we can all look at it together. I know, pretty fancy. So I'm going to put my clock on the time that it is for the first one. Let's see, does that look right? Yes. Okay, so first we need to decide what is the hour. What is the hour? So which one's the hour hands? It's the short red one, right? So if I'm looking up here at the top, if you, you can look over there at that clock, you see the second hand? It's going in a circle like this. Well, all the hands go in a circle like that. Some just are faster than others, right? The second hand keeps going and going and going. So I'm going to start up here at the 12. And anything from here to the 1 is 12 o'clock. So I'm going to have 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Oh, got to the 1, so it's changing. 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Oh, got to the 2. 
Two. Two o'clock, two o'clock, two o'clock, two o'clock, two o'clock, two o'clock. Got to three. Three o'clock, three o'clock, three o'clock, three o'clock, three o'clock. Oh, and I stop because, look, it's not on the four yet. It's just before the four. I know they're kind of trying to trick you there. It's not on the four, it's just before the four. So it is three o'clock. So you need to write a three for the hour hand. A three for the hour hand. Raise your hand if that's what you got. You got a three for the hour hand. Nice job. So then for the minute hand, as you may remember from last year, we're just counting by fives to where it stops. So we're gonna start here at the 12. Always start here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And look, my clock shows it. So 50, your time is 350. 350. I had more Okay, this is the next one. Let's look at the hour hand first. Oh, hey, do you have the book? I do have the book. Okay, so we need to find the hour hand. Remember the short red hands from here to here. Okay, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Oh, stopped right here. It's just after the 7. So the hour hand is saying it's 7. So if, that, if that's not what you have, go ahead and fix it. And then remember the long minute hand. Uh, we're counting by five. So starting here, five. And we can stop right there. So our time is 7.05. Seven, those two little dots, zero, five. All right, and quickly, the next clock, if the time is, raise your hand, what'd you get? Does anybody feel confident enough to share their answer? Zane? Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Good job, Zane. 2.46. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, does anybody feel confident enough to share their answer? Juliana? Uh, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. So it's a 12, those two little dots, a zero, and a zero. That would be Perfect. All right, turn the page. Oh, these are number five and six. These are ones that we're just gonna have to memorize. We're just gonna have to memorize these. Let's see what you guys got. One day equals how many hours? How many hours are in a day, Anastasia? 24 hours. 24, so we have one day equals 24 hours. And then going over, one hour has how many minutes? Anthony? 60, good job. One hour has 60 minutes. One hour equals 60 minutes. Going to number six, one year has how many months? One year has how many months, Connor? It has 12. 12 months. One year has 12 months, and a week has how many days? Zane? It has seven days. It has seven days, good. All right, raise your hand if you struggled with number seven. Oh, that was kind of tough, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's, we are going to learn a song. I will sing it for you today, and then we'll work on it later. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the days of the year, or months of the year. So, so what is the first month of the year? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. What was the first one, Anastasia? January. January. So next to January, you should have written a number one. If you didn't, that's okay. Just fix it. Miss Tongue needs to get new markers, doesn't she? Yes. Goodness. Do this. January. February. March. I'm just going to do the abbreviation for them. January, February, Connor, March, March. So we have one, two, three, March, April, May. What's next? Anybody know? June. Good job. And then I have Shout it out, anybody know? July. 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 August. August, August, which is the month we are in. 
Yeah, my dad's birthday. September. My mom's birthday. October. Yeah. November. Thanksgiving's in November. And December. Christmas, Christmas. is in December. Yes. My Halloween is in October. October. Please don't call out. I called on Juliana. My sister's birthday is on August the 30th. Oh, it's actually coming up. My brother's birthday is August 22nd, so that's coming up too. Julian, Julian. My birthday's in two days. Two days? Whoa. And Addison's birthday is yesterday? That's crazy. Hold on one second, Saints. Let's just move on to number number eight. Does anybody know the difference between AM and PM? <laughs> so if I saying I have to meet somebody for coffee at 10.30 a.m., that would be the morning, 10.30 in the morning. But what if it was p.m.? <laughs> it's at night. Yeah, so let's look at the scenarios here. Number six, it says a dentist appointment. Would I have a dentist appointment at 10.30 a.m. or 10.30 p.m.? Remember, a.m. is in the morning, p.m. is at night. Anthony. A.m.? A.M. You'd have a dentist appointment in the morning. You probably wouldn't have a dentist appointment at a time that's past your bedtime, right? 10.30 a.m. What about number nine? School lets out for the day at 3 o'clock a.m. or 3 o'clock p.m. That one's a little tough. So is it 3 o'clock in the morning? We'd probably all still be sleeping. Or is it 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the night? That one's a little tough. Connor. Um. 3 o'clock p.m. Right on. And then number 10, look at the stars. What time would you look at the stars? 11 a.m. or 11 p.m., Anthony? 11 p.m. 11 p.m., good. All right, you may go ahead and close your book and put it away.